You guys, so we found this tiny little turtle on the sidewalk. He was right over there in the sidewalk right by this street. We're gonna take him to the river because he has nowhere to go over here. He'd either, he's so tiny, he looked like a leaf on the ground. He would totally either get stepped on or run over, so we're gonna take him to the river. That's where we're taking him. Get a little closer to the water. Alright, what do you got? What do I have? Yep. All right, so we were looking for a place to stay uh, with the RV, the first uh, little small trip. There's a cat. Kitty? Yeah. Pick it up. No, Pick it up. No, not another one. So yeah, uh, we found this RV park, or I did, I guess. <laughs> I just told Blair about it. And uh, we used to go to Pace Bend. It's a nice little um, place to do deep water soloing and th things like that for climbing. That's kind of what we're drawn to for our first little trip. I didn't about. know they had an RV park. They, I don't think they do, like maybe five or 10 minutes from, actually I think it's even less than that, away from the state park. Yeah, we just have to go there. It's $30 a night, full hookups, Wi-Fi, cable. Wi-Fi? Everything, everything we would need. And I'm almost tempted to stay there a few other like extra nights throughout the week. To go hit a lakeway area. Like, um, maybe go there Friday, stay Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Something like that. Or at least stay Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So the next step now is to figure out for sure um, and make our reservations. Yeah. Figure out how long it's gonna take to drive. We will make the reservations today. Check the tires tonight, do a little more research on that. And then uh, I'm pretty confident in the tires. I mean, I'm not gonna go crazy fast. Uh, like I'm gonna leave probably in the middle of the day and then just take it real slow. Ooh. Let's also look up that tire temper tire pressure temperature thingy. Maybe we can get that in time. Yeah, we yes. probably could. If we do Amazon. So we'll look yeah. that up and we'll of course show you guys because I know that a lot of y'all um, that are also new or thinking about RVing want to see this process, which I think that would be very helpful for us. We had started researching this sooner. <laughs> Everything that we're gonna do in preparation for this first trip. Another thing, um, thank you for the recent comments on the, um, the pop-out leak. Uh, some people, and I texted him a screenshot of one of you guys' comments for some experienced RVers saying that it should be covered under warranty, so we're gonna call dealership today as well and figure that out. Yeah, and part of that is the dealership is like, and this shouldn't be, this shouldn't be even a part of the conversation, but it is for me. I, I, we had to drive up there, how many times? Three or four times yeah. just to get the RV. I'm just tired of the drive. I'm tired of that place. But if it's going to save us several hundred dollars for leaking in the future, it's going to be worth it. Yeah. So we can do like a really long roundabout way, go all the way up there and then all the way back in. I don't know. That's, we'll call that's them today. Mess. We'll get that figured out too. Ah! Ah! You are crazy. Cows. Cows are my favorite. Check it out, you guys. Shoes are no longer in there with the shirts. As you can see, it looks a lot cleaner. I just put a couple blankets back there and the shoes that were in here. Thank you to um, whoever recommended that. I can't remember who it was. There they are, and the books that were in here are now back here. Ta-da! <coughs> Slowly figuring things out, one area at a time. Matt's responding to comments. We're still trying to respond to everything worth responding to. We'll see how long we can do that, but we're gonna keep trying. What did they say? They said we do have to drop it off, so we'll, we'll be without a, a home for a little bit. How long? Like just a good day or two, maybe. We just need to get necessities back out. Mm. What do you think was going to happen? You think they're going to fix it in like two minutes? Yeah, not two minutes, but a couple hours. Like we just hang out in the area for a little bit. I didn't think it'd take a full day or two. Well, he says that we can get it up pretty quick, but he's not guaranteeing anything. <sighs> he found out the, the date that we bought it, and he's like, yeah, since y'all just bought it, it's like, we'll make sure it gets out of here pretty quick. Okay, so right now we're talking about money, basically discussing things that we're going to need as we start traveling he kind of brought something up that I thought was interesting that we could share with you guys. Everything that we've done with this, we've tried to reduce, we've tried to get to the point where we're actually saving money. Uh, it doesn't seem like we have been because we have to keep buying things and our list keeps growing on things we need to buy. We get this slide out fixed instead of rather like buying an awning for it, mm -hmm. you know? Um, that actually saves us about $300 right there. One less thing, but you know, there's still quite a few things like the truck cover, but that aside, all the extra costs, um, our monthly costs alone, taking it from where we were um, when we were in a house uh, to where we are now, 
Uh, basically, we were paying on a monthly basis about $1,050 for, some, rent. for rent, just rent. And we were actually reducing and we, we got in a really good for deal. For a house. For a house. Yeah, for um, renting a house before we had been in an apartment that was about $1,200. Yeah. We didn't want to jump in a room. Yeah, we didn't want to jump in a mortgage or anything like that. So there's certain payments. So like I'm paying off one credit card and it's it's low. I mean, it's there's barely anything on it, but I just I choose to pay it pretty slow. Uh, a student loan because I was a student. Health insurance for both of us. Payment for the trailer, the payment for the truck, payment for the insurance on the truck. All of that is still less than the price of our monthly rent payment. So that's good news, guys. Yeah. <laughs> that's it's, good news. And that's, that's all my payments. That's, rent before that's everything I pay. we had rent plus these payments. Yeah, so basically. I mean, of course, necessities, random necessities. Yeah. And but we, have, we have, I mean, this covers pretty much everything that we need. Uh, I mean, I'm basically covered in multiple ways for not just our health, but also our truck and our trailer and stuff like that. Um, and then actually once I pay off the credit card, I'm going to get even more insurance for a few things. And thought it'd be interesting to share with you guys. I know not a lot of people talk about money, especially on YouTube. And I don't really know why it's this kind of taboo thing, but I'm like, money is, everybody uses money. Everybody needs money. Everybody worries about money. So why not talk about it? It's not something weird. You know, we both have jobs that we enjoy and we make money from those jobs and and just that money goes tool. towards our lifestyle. Yeah, like, <laughs> money is just a tool. It's yeah. not something to collect necessarily. I mean, it is nice that we are collecting more because that actually provides us safety while we're in this kind of almost unsafe environment. You yes. know, it's this, uh, we never know what's going to happen Very next unsure. kind of thing. Uh, but it's good to set aside money uh, just in case something does happen. Uh, but also we have all these insurances and things that will supplement that as well. It should be, it should be pretty good. Yeah, it's just, there's a couple things that we need to take care of because I don't feel like we're saving anything at this point. And then yeah. of course we do, we will be paying for um, more for gas, stay at the RV parks. Coming. Yeah. So, but the idea is that, you know, we'll be also working on the road, uh, hopefully making more, um, cause I have a few ideas on that on my side and I'm sure your side. I have no ideas. Yeah, I mean, you're about to do a I'm few things that are different, so. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm always working income. on expanding my business, so. Yeah, and so, um, but only within the parameters that we want to work with, you know, and so we still want to enjoy everything that we are doing, and so, and we are. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, and there's also a few other expenses, obviously the things that we need to buy for the trailer, the expense later on, which is tickets. Disney World. Tickets. We also, I mean, keep in mind, we, we did go into... Disney World this last year as well, so it hasn't even been a year yet. With your family. With my family, but now we get to go on our own, sort of, plus two. Dogs. Dogs. So we'll sneak them into the park. Just put Mickey ears and a t-shirt on them and tell them that they're kids. So we will update you guys more on the awning cover. We may not even need that. It's just really the slide out that we need to fix. And yeah, I keep saying awning. Yeah. It's the pop out. I think that's what's confusing people because we see that in the comments. Yes. The awning is fine. Yeah, the awning is it's fine. It's clean, it's, it's put sorry. away, we don't let it in the wind. It's the pop out. We yes. haven't even left the awning out because of all the weather and the wind lately. It's just not yeah. even worth We've it. We've taken care of everything. I'm even washing the outside of this uh, pretty soon. I'm trying to stay as clean as possible and I'm adding all this stuff on. I mean, everyone that comments something in, in these videos, I'm taking notes of it. And we really do appreciate all yeah. of the comments. There's a lot, which is cool. And we're trying to respond to all of them, as I yeah. said. It's also a lot of information and some of it's conflicting. So we're trying, like, we're having to research. It's just, it's a lot. <laughs> It's, it's good though. It is a lot, but hopefully, you know, it, everybody is enjoying the journey so far. Any of you RVers, I'm sure that you understand where we are and how we feel. And then anybody that's interested in the lifestyle, it's important to see this because these are things that you don't realize are going to happen or come up until you're in it. So, But at this point, it's looking like, well, once we buy all these extra items um, with that cost out of the way, uh, on just the monthly costs and just by myself without even taking her income into account, I can sustain this lifestyle now, even without being on, well, y'all know that we're actually on I quit my land. job. I no, quit my job. No, we're not doing that. Yeah, we can, most of these RV parks, I'm looking at $300 a month. Throw That's that in. Bad. Throw it in. A month at a time just to get that discount. That's the update for now. Thank you guys for tuning in. Always ask hit that thumbs up. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll reply. Um, Speaking of it. rambling. That's it. That's it. That's it. Bye. See ya. <laughs>
how you clean an awning. <laughs> I'm sure there's a, uh, a device that they have for that, but. Like a mop. <laughs> we don't have that yet, so. And he needed to do some squats, so. Did a squat. <laughs> squat. <laughs>